Of course, once you've learned how to use your Chimera wand, you want to program it to control some of the things in your house. And that's when the real magic will start. Um, to start with, I'm going to show you how to program it. And I'm going to use this um, iPod dock with an iPod and this remote. See how old-fashioned that remote looks with all the buttons on it? Well, we are going to program some of these functions onto the wand. And then we can use the wand to control the iPod dock. But the wand will learn remote control codes from lots of remotes all over the world. Um, televisions, DVDs, PVRs, skyboxes. So I'm going to show you how to program it now. The way to program the wand is first of all to put it into programming mode. You point the wand upright, you double tap smartly on the side, it does four heartbeats. That tells you it's ready to program. You put it uh, level, you perform the gesture that you'd like to record from your remote. In this case, let's do um, menu up, so I go up, it has a certain number of pulses to tell me it's ready, and then it fast heartbeats. I press the button for menu up whilst it's fast heartbeating, whilst pointing the remote control at the end, and it does me a fast, hard pulse to tell me that it's learned the code. I then point the one down, and I tap it once. It does four heartbeats to tell me that it's recorded that, re that remote control code, and now I'm ready to use the remote control to do menu up. Now when I do menu up, when I do the flick, I get one pulse and that tells me that I've learned to code and that pulse tells me that the code is being sent to the device. So, the next video we're going to show you how to use your wand.